Several communities today have been dealing with some really dangerous wet weather. We needed the rain, Sean, yeah. but that heavy rain included flood warnings. Madison and Delaware County really got hit hard tonight. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, take a look here. This is just one of several pictures. Oh, wow. uh, you can see they're kind of ankle deep. Um, too much too soon. Sure. Uh, some areas north and northeast of Indy picked up about one to two months worth of rain in less than 24 hours. Oh my yeah. goodness. Flash flood warnings uh, have expired, but okay. we still have flood warnings for portions of Hamilton and Tipton and Madison counties. And this is from earlier near Muncie. Muncie hit very hard. A lot of street flooding up there. This is from Elwood uh, from Anita Glaze. Uh, Micah and Anderson, you can see, and he said his brother there stands about six foot two, so you can see how deep that water was. This is from Jeff and Anderson as well. Here's more of a uh, bird's eye view from his drone. And then we'll show you the radar rain estimates with spotter verification. Widespread six to over eight inches of rain uh, within this purple shade here from Yorktown, just north of Anderson, Alexandria had a near nine inch report there. This is around Elwood uh, again, six to seven plus inches of rain, and you can see the uh, flood warnings that continue. We still have some street flooding there. Uh, in addition to that, we went from moderate drought to minor to locally moderate river flooding along the White River where flood warnings are going to be up till at least Wednesday from Anderson down toward Noor here. So what a flip of the script, if you will. This was the moderate drought. Now we put a dent into that, a big time dent there. Uh, you can see where it's sticking out. That's where that heaviest rain was falling. So uh, a quieter radar scene right now. Areas of fog are going to develop. And as we go into Monday, uh, the chances of rain and thunderstorms not nearly as widespread. This is the vantage point from northern Marion County right now. Air is saturating, so some pockets of fog could slow you down in the morning. It is going to be a warm day, much warmer than today as we get into Monday afternoon with daytime highs that will be in the middle 80s here. Uh, we got about a 40% chance of a shower or thunderstorm, but as we move forward, this will be the focus. This is Wednesday forecast highs in the middle 90s. When you team it up with the muggy air, it produces heat indices of 100 to 105. So we are going to have another heat wave move in here and likely we'll have multiple days where we're either going to have a heat advisory and or an excessive heat warning as the hot dome is going to be spreading eastward and it's going to impact a big portion of the U.S. going into the upcoming weekend. So 85 but humid on Monday, 91 on Tuesday, forecasting 95 for a high, but the heat index again over 100. And we're really turning up the temperatures this weekend. We could be flirting with temperatures near 100. We're certainly going to have heat indices of 100 plus. So we're going to shut down the rain once again and turn up the heat big time this week.